Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, let us create a Eureka client, which is nothing but your actual Java application. Let us get started by creating a Spring Boot application. I'm going to go file uh, Spring Startup Project. Uh, for this, I'm going to name my uh, Eureka client as Student Service. Click on Next. Uh, search for Eureka. Uh, you would notice Eureka Discovery added as a dependency. And then you also have to add the web dependency because all the communication happens through HTTP as REST calls. So if you don't add this right, your application will not you know, come up. Click on next and finish. Okay, Maven is importing and organizing all the dependencies. And yeah, let's open up the pom.xml. So we have the pom.xml opened up and you could see the dependencies here. So we have the uh, Cloud Starter uh, Netflix Eureka client. Whereas in case of the Eureka server, we had Cloud Starter Netflix Eureka server. And in this case, it's going to be Cloud Starter Eureka client. Let's directly go on to our Spring Boot application file. And let's add the annotation at the rate of enable Eureka client. Also, let me quickly rename my application.properties into application.yaml. I'm going to give a server.port and it is going to be 9001. All right, our setup is done. Now let's go and run this project. Okay, so our project is up and running. And let's try to check in our Eureka server console whether the student service got registered or not. Okay, so the Eureka server is up and running and this is the web console. But why are we not seeing our instance? We have the student service up and running. We added the other rate of enable Eureka client, but still I don't see anything here. Why is it? Because you need to you add the Eureka servers service URL into the application.yaml of the client. Let's go and add it now. I'm here at the application.yaml of the student service and I'm going to add this URL. The URL is nothing but eureka.client.service URL. And you have to define the default zone with the My Eureka server is running in localhost 8700. You have to suffix this with Eureka. There are a lot of configurations available in this. Uh, you can add them and you know use them depending upon the needs of the project. You can do some research on this different you know, application properties for Eureka that is available here. Before restarting the server, let me quickly give a name for my student service. Okay, so our configurations are done. Let's go and restart our student service. Okay, it is up and running and let's refresh our Eureka server console. All right, do you see this? The instance is automatically registered with the Eureka server. So the importance of the application name is, if you don't mention a name, it will show unknown here. And it will be difficult for anyone to, you know, uh, triage or analyze what instant it is. With this, we have completed the Eureka client video. In our next video, let us see how to use the cloud config server.